Okay, it looks like we are live. Uh, let's see. Okay, my mic's registering. Looks like the stream's going through. We'll wait a few minutes to see if anybody jumps in the room. So I got one viewer in here. I don't know if that's Big D's or not. I know Deafness is live as well, so I'm sure a lot of folks are in Deafness's daily walk vlog. Just going to give it a few minutes. Let some folks trickle in here. All right, all right, all right. So, got like four packages to go through today. Got a uh, Beckett trade. Got something really cool from Reindeer Studios. A uh, package from Deafness and a package from DFD. Um, I'm going to give it a few minutes to let some people filter into the room. If you happen to drop in the room, feel free to say hi in the chat. And I promise I will say hi back. So... I happened to be going through some boxes that were in my closet, and I found a box with some cards in it that I didn't even remember I had. Um, I think I had set these two cards aside uh, for back when I did blogging. I think I did a blog post with these cards, these two cards, and I just probably set them on a set them on top of the stack. But that one's really that's a wild card right there. That's from uh, Skybox Premium. I think it's 90, 98. Let me see if my autofocus can work right so we can see this a little bit better. That is a cool picture. That's like the 49ers in a huddle. And like this big massive like pumpkin looking thing in the background. It's pretty wild. Uh, yeah, it was October 29, 1995. You see this card has some paper loss where it was sticking together with another card. But I always like that card for some reason, just because of that awesome picture that's on it. Not that I'm a 49ers fan or anything, because I'm not. Um, I remember doing a blog post on this card. This card's dusty. Sitting in that box a long time. I probably did that blog post like eight years ago or something like that. Yeah, probably more like six years ago. But this is just an awesome Roy Halladay card. Black Border Opeachy, 2009. Black Border just goes so well with that photo. That, uh, you know, pose shot of Roy Halliday. Roy Halliday, rest in peace. Uh, Jim Longer, I don't even know what year this is from. Uh, looks like 70... 78 tops, Jim Longer. And then a Dwight Stevenson from 87 tops. Dwight Stevenson. I just found all these cards. I don't even know what's in there. Bob Greasy, Enor, Enor Football, 1991 Hall of Fame. There's the man right there, Don Shula. Check out that shirt. You don't see coaches wearing shirts like that anymore. Ooh, even better. Dan Marino, and I don't know who that is. Is that, maybe there's a Chiefs fan out there that can tell me. Is that Dave Craig or is that uh, Steve DeBerg? Those are the only two Chiefs quarterbacks I could name from back then. Who else was on the Chiefs back then? Elvis Gerbeck? This is a checklist for... Uh, for Dol Oh, it's Steve DeBerg. I can see it right here. Steve DeBerg. They got him highlighted or bolded here on the card. Look at those shorts. Man. Those are pretty wild. Those are loud. And then got these, which is Roger Staubach, NFL Football. These are from the Ted Williams collection. These are like pogs or something. You like pop these pieces out, Bob Greasy and Doug Williams. It's 
pretty interesting. They got like these little indentions in them. I don't know what those are for. I don't know what these are. Like, I don't even remember where I got them. Some Bobby Cox cards. Kid Reporter. Here's some football cards. Richard Sherman, Derek Carr, and Alshon Jeffrey. What is this? 2016 Contenders. Is that David Johnson? Another David Johnson. This is Optic. Stafford, Kelvin Benjamin, uh, Prism Hollow, whatever you want to call it. Joey Bosa, rookie. Another filler card. There's a Kenny Stills, certified. Man, these are some nice cards. 2015 certified. Who is that? Terrence West. Uh, Trent Richardson. Pretty cool card. Uh, Stefan Anthony, that's like a prism. It's also a rookie. Doesn't say refract or anything on it, I don't think. Uh, Demarius Thomas, stars. Another kid reporter. Here's Clear Vision. These are acetate cards. Carson Palmer. Who's that? Braxton Miller out of 99. 87 out of 99. What's up, Roby? How you doing, buddy? I'm doing good. I found these cards in a box. And I'm just kind of like going through them. Because I don't even remember having these cards. <laughs> uh, I guess when I quit collecting the last time, I just kind of threw these in a box. And it wasn't labeled as cards or anything like that. It was just a small stack of cards sitting in this box. I'm like, ooh, cards. It's always good to find cards you didn't know you had. Uh, these are Bowman Chrome. It shows how old these are. You know, when Top still had an NFL license, Bowman Chrome. Finally made it to a live stream. I appreciate it, man. Here's a Teddy Bridgewater rookie card. Die cut. Future of the franchise for the Vikings. Of course, that didn't pan out because of injuries. Uh, AJ Green. Kendall Wright. Uh, here's some, one of these Elite, Donruss Elite. Card's got a fingerprint or something on it. Jacoby Jones, San Antonio Holmes. The die cut, Justin Blackman. Man, that, that guy fell off. The AP. And a Cam Newton. And got an Anquan Bolden Trilogy. It's from Upper Deck uh, Materials, Jersey. 35 out of 79. And some more Kid Reporter stuff. So yeah, just some random football cards. And a few baseball cards in there that I came across. And I'm like, sweet, more cards. Also found this uh, Playoff Frenzy Troy Aikman. This is like a 90s insert. If I recall, these are kind of... They're not like super duper rare, but... They're not super duper common either. These playoff frenzy cards. What's up, 25 Perez? My fellow Fairfield fanatic. How you doing, buddy? I got I got like three Fairfields sitting over here. Waiting for my Fairfield Fridays. I got two bus baseballs and one football. I got one of those baseball prime packs. So... Yeah, man, it's always great to find cards. Always great to find cards. Let me check my stream health to make sure everything's good. Looks like everything's good. And then we'll go ahead and get into some of the packages. All right, we'll get into this first package here. This is a trade from Beckett. I went ahead and cut the tops off all of these, so... You wouldn't have to see me breaking into these, cutting into the packages and dealing with all that. Uh, okay, that's some extra cards because I didn't trade for a Justin Upton or a Billy Hamilton. Those are just throw-ins, I guess. So did everybody have a good Monday at work? I know Mondays are always tough for some. Especially 
you work five days and then the weekend comes, it's two days and then you're right back at work again. It's an interesting case. Ultimate PKK. Ultimate PKK. So I don't know why there's Justin Upton's in here. He just threw some random base cards here at the top. Because I didn't trade for any of these. Put those back in the little case thing. What's up, Breeze Cards? How you doing, buddy? Appreciate you jumping in. So, like many of you know, I collect Hall of Famers. So I made a trade for some Hall of Famers here. Here's a Pee Wee Reese. Flare Greats. Got a Honus Wagner out of 99 Gray Border. This is the image variation from Diamond Kings 2018, I believe. Yep, 2018 Diamond Kings. Uh, Gray Border, Honus Wagner out of 99. Uh, Whitey Ford. Uh, this is from... Man, the back of that card's really shiny. I think this is 2000... 2000. It's reprint 18 of 50. 2000 tops, Whitey Ford. Uh, Tommy Lasorda. This is a Topps Tiffany. You can see how shiny this 89 Topps card is. It's because it's a Tiffany. With the bright back. So you can always tell a Tiffany is the glossy front. Uh, Southpaw Greatness. Randy Johnson, Warren Spawn, Steve Carlton, and Sandy Koufax. So, four for the price of one there. Four Hall of Famers. Pretty cool little card there. That's from 2001 Topps, I believe. Here's a 78 Don Sutton. Or 77 Don Sutton, excuse me. This card has seen better days, but it's all good. Uh, the person I traded with said it wasn't in the greatest condition, but I'm not a s stickler for condition when I get cards from my binder like this. Here's a mini Don Sutton from 86 Fleer. A little mini... 86 Fleer. I think this is the first mini uh, 86 Fleer card I got. Uh, got one of these Ted Williams Baseball Heroes cards. I think I'm pretty much done with that little insert set. The Tommy Lasorda from 81 Fleer, I think. Yeah, 81 Fleer. Tommy Lasorda. Hall of Fame manager. Honus Wagner from Allen and Ginter. Sparky Anderson, 78. Uh, yeah, 78, Sparky Anderson. Card's in a little bit better shape than the Don Sutton. The Bob Lemon from Upper Deck. Uh, Upper Deck Classics. 2005 Upper Deck Classics, Bob Lemon. The Whitey Ford from, uh, Archives, I believe. I don't know what year Archives this is. 2003, 2003 Archives. So I call the era between 95 and 2007 the dead era of baseball cards. Because for those of us that were collecting from like the late 80s, early 90s, you know, the junk wax period. When the, when we were kids, that was our heyday. From like 95 to 2007-ish, like barely any of us were still collecting. So you don't see a lot of these cards often on the market it's like you always see from the junk wax prior and from like 2008 2009 later and then like that area in between i called the dead period here's a upper deck masterpieces from 20 2007 2007 upper deck masterpieces these are always very nice cards you got that little canvas stock on there and another clemente from Allen and Ginter. So all that was part of a Beckett trade. Looks like he sent a few more cards here. With this Carolina blue painter's tape on it. I think that card in the back's an extra he just threw in. So the trader just threw in a bunch of extra cards. I guess he's got a bunch of base cards he wants to get rid of, so he just like randomly sends them to trades. There's a Billy Hamilton, 
Jan Gomes and Jock Peterson, you know, Mark Trumbro. I didn't trade for any of those. And I didn't trade for this one either, but this was also a throw in. A Roger Maris, uh, 150 years menu patch. So I didn't trade for that, but he sent it. So I appreciate that. The trader from Beckett ever watches this video. Thank you, sir. I appreciate the extras you threw in. And that is the Beckett trade. Set this stuff aside. That Roger Maris may end up in the uh, giveaway stash. Which ends today, by the way. So, if you haven't been commenting on my videos throughout September, head on over and comment on some of my older videos to get you some entries into the giveaway stash. Which I'll probably do tomorrow night live as well. So I think it'll be pretty cool to do a live uh, drawing for that. Alright, so... This next one is, it's a big one, Reindeer Studios. If any of you are not subscribed to Reindeer Studios, go subscribe to Reindeer Studios. Because there is no way this guy should have less subs than I do. This guy is way more talented than me. <laughs> Definitely go check out Reindeer Studios. And if, if any of you saw this drawing when he was doing it, May know exactly what I got. But definitely, if you aren't subscribed to Reindeer Studios, go subscribe to Reindeer Studios. Um, this is really awesome. I've been waiting for this uh, since I saw the video of the drawing. Oh, there's a note in here. It says, hey Patrick, congrats and thanks again for playing my silly game. And thanks for the support. Enjoy your Hellboy, sir. Uh, Scott from Reindeer Studios. No, Scott, thank you. Your channel is awesome. Your drawings are awesome. Um, I don't know what else to say. You deserve all the support you get on YouTube. And there's no way you should have less subs than me. So let's go ahead and get into this. I'm going to try to do this without messing anything up. Because I know it is a charcoal print. Let me try to handle this so I'm not smudging anything. Y'all ready for this? Look at that. That is awesome from Reindeer Studios. He does a, a contest where he draws these characters and then he takes suggestions in the comments for what character to draw next. And it has to be connected to the previous character he drew. And uh, I happened to throw out Hellboy. Um, he drew a gizmo and I said, uh, well, the guy that did a bunch of the hybrid um, Gremlins from Gremlins 2 also did a lot of the art design and special effects for Hellboy and he ended up drawing Hellboy and sending me the picture which is freaking awesome so thank you very much Reindeer Studios I really appreciate it, Scott that's awesome I'm going to find a frame to put this in and this Hellboy is going to be hanging up in my house because that is just freaking sweet dude that is so awesome. Like I said, if anybody's watching and is not subscribed to Reindeer Studios, go check out Reindeer Studios. Not only does he do drawings like this, he does uh, digital art. Oops, I got it in backwards. He does digital art of sports stars and then like goes to like conventions and stuff and has them sign it, which is really cool as well. Uh, he's done Doc Gooden and... Quite a few other folks. He did Al Kaline. Teeny mate's falling over here. Let me put those back in the envelope so it doesn't get damaged. But uh, Reindeer Studios definitely has some videos up. Uh, definitely check out his last one. Uh, he should be releasing one today. I think he usually releases one on Monday. And uh, give some suggestions of what he should draw next. And you never know. You could actually win the drawing. Which is pretty cool. Alright. The next package is for Deafness45. Uh, this is some stuff that I believe... These are packs. Oh, maybe he just put the cards in the packs and just closed them up. Because it would be easier. Because um, I don't think those are actually sealed packs from Deafness. Deafness45. Somebody else said if you aren't subscribed with... Definitely check them out. Um, 
Although, if you are subscribed to me, you're probably already subscribed to Deafness as well. But, if you watch this at a later date, go check out Deafness 45's channel. And he did a 24-hour live stream for hitting 1,000 subs. And mad props to him for doing that, because... 24 hours on live stream? That's... That's wild. That's a long time to be on camera. Or to be dealing with a stream, period. So, props to Deafness for pulling that off. And, uh, during his live stream, he just was just giving cards away all the time throughout. I mean, not the whole live stream, but he did some auctions as well. But he was also giving cards away at, at various points during the live streams to people that were in the live stream. So, I got some free cards from him, which is super generous. You know, just to, to spend all that money. I mean, he bought four or five, six hobby boxes. And just gave away the packs out of the hobby boxes during his live stream, which is ridiculously generous. And let's go through this, see what we got. I, got, I think it's a sealed pack of 87 tops, which is actually pretty awesome. I'm not going to open that. I'm just going to hold on to that one. Um, but yeah, he opened, he had hobby boxes of tops, archives, optic, Donruss football, high number. So there's a Honus Wagner. It's pretty cool. That one's going to go to my uh, Hall of Fame horde there. Robin Roberts, another Hall of Famer. Sweet. Zach Cozart, Bernie Williams, and Duke Snyder, another Hall of Famer. So I got two Hall of Famers out of that pack. I don't even remember what I got out of all these packs. Here's Optic. Got a Manny Machado action pack. Nicholas Castellanos. And a Chris Bryant. So, not too shabby there. I got more pack wrappers that I know what to do with. Uh, this is Don Russell. Let's do the last baseball and then we'll do the football. So this is Heritage High Number. Lance Lynn, Nick Anderson, Greg Holland, Travis Berger, Jacob deGrom, inserts, Homer Bailey. Josh Harrison, Logan Forsythe, and Richie Martin. Whenever I see Richie Martin, I want to call him Ricky Martin. So it doesn't look like I got any short prints in that one. And then finally, let's do this Donruss football. Donruss football is great this year. If you collect football, definitely check out Donruss football. It's got some really cool stuff in it. Like the one right on top. Got a die cut on there. Got a Aaron Jones press proof die cut at a 75. It's pretty cool. Kendall Sheffield rookie. Corderell Patterson. Uh, the champ is here card. An elite series AJ Brown. This dude uh, had a good game the other day. I watched some of the highlights of the Browns play the, uh, or not the Browns, but the Titans play the Falcons, and AJ Brown had a good game. Darius Geis, Megatron, Calvin Johnson, Ed Reed, Ed Reed for the PC, Matt Ryan, Jimmy Graham for the PC, and a Tyron Matthew, the Honey Badger. So pretty sweet there. I'm just going to set all these cards to the side. Get them up out of my way. Along with all these empty pack wrappers. And we'll look at the top loaded cards here. We got a Luis Urias. Uh, what is this? Heritage high number again? No, this is Archives, ain't it? Yeah, it's Archives. 2018 Archives. Urias rookie card for the Padres. Got this Jose Altuve Archives tops out of 99. Number 3 out of 99. Pretty sweet there. Got a Frank Thomas at Archives. It's not numbered or anything, but it's a Frank Thomas. And I'm sure you saw it already, but a Tuki Toussaint. Tuki Toussaint autograph card at an Optic. Pretty sweet. Numbered out of 99. Tuki, Tuki, Tuki. Looky, looky, looky. Here comes Tuki. Roby will know what commercial that is from. Sweet. Thank you, Deafness45. I really appreciate that. That's super awesome. 
We got one more package to go, and I'll let y'all get on with your evening. Catch some of the other streamers that are coming on tonight. And from DFD, Dodger Fan Drew, also known as Alex Camacho on YouTube. Oh, there's like something in there. It's like a letter. I right, get it out of here. Pretty cool putting the letter there in a card saver. Oh, sweet. Mr. DFD. Awesome. Card Mafia. Thick card there. That's awesome, DFD. I appreciate that. I'm going to give that one a stand. So, DFD is known mainly as Alex Camacho on YouTube. You may have seen him in some of the other live streams. All right. Patrick, hey, buddy. Well, here are some Dolphins cards for your collection, my friend. Also, some packs to see what you can pull. Also, a relic and an auto of a Dolphins player. Really? And also, a little card of yours truly, my friend, which is the DFT card. Uh, so, hope you like the stuff I sent. And expect more stuff from me, your buddy and fan, your pal, DFT1. P.S. Enjoy. That's awesome, DFD, man. I really appreciate that. That is awesome. Let's see what DFD sent. Ooh, packs. 2018 Donruss football packs. Sweet. Ooh, another pack. Let's see what else we got in here. Okay, it looks like a stack of cards. Dolphins. Fins up, baby. I know, we're terrible this year. But it ain't going to stop me from liking the Dolphins. <laughs> so, a lot of people are dogging me because the Dolphins are going to go like 1-15 in or 0-16 in this year. Like, they're really bad. Like, historically bad. <laughs> they show flashes of being an NFL team because I've watched pretty much sections of like all their games. And like during the first half, especially during the especially versus the Cowboys in the last game they played against Chargers, they looked decent in the first half. Not decent as in like they're a good football team, but decent as in they're a competent football team. They actually look like an NFL football team. And then in the second half, they're just like crap. <laughs> Those Panthers tapes tough. That's what happens when it's a hundred degrees outside. Panthers tape gets stuck. It's the last day of September and it's 100 degrees. And I'm not lying, it was literally 100 degrees here in Georgia today. Alright, I think I finally got into it enough to where I could get the cards out. Alright, Ryan Tannehill. Kenyon Drake. Yes, Stan the Man Marino. That is awesome. Another Dan Marino. Between the contenders this time in his pit uniform. Another Ryan Tannehill. Ryan Tannehill now with the Tennessee Titans. Cam Wake. That's my boy right there. He is also with the Tennessee Titans. I think that's where he signed. One of the great all-time Miami Dolphins. Uh... One of the one of the great sack sack artists of all time. Here's a Danny, Danny Amendola. He spent last year with the Dolphins. Playoff heroes, Dan Marino. Unfortunately, Dan Marino wasn't a playoff hero too often. Actually, didn't fare very well in the playoffs most of the time. Revolutionaries, Dan Marino. Uh, Roby, do I PC Ty Cobb or Babe Ruth? Uh, the answer is yes. <laughs> I PC both. I PC all Hall of Famers. I just kind of like hoard them all. Um, Devontae Parker. That's a pretty cool little card there. Love that. I don't know if that's a parallel or if that's the, what the base memorabilia look like, man. That's pretty cool, though. I like how they put the logo and the team name in the background. 
Action Pack, Kenyon Drake. There's a Mike Jacecki rookie card. Raekwon McMillan rookie card. There's a Durham Smythe rookie card. Kalen Balaj rookie. Balaj has been struggling a bit this year. He's got talent, but like, man, he just hasn't been playing good. Like, he'll run it, and the offensive, there'll be a hole there, and he like, just kind of runs straight into a defender. And then that, and he's dropping passes. So, he kind of got benched. There's Minka, Minka Fitzpatrick. He got traded to the Steelers this year. Uh, Dolphins got a first round for him. And another Minka Fitzpatrick rookie guard. Pretty cool. So the Dolphins drafted Minka Fitzpatrick in the 2018 draft. Uh, number 11 overall. And they traded him to the Steelers for their first round pick next year. Now the Steelers keep going on their track. Especially if they lose to the Bengals tonight. The Dolphins might get a top 10 pick out of that. So in essence they traded a number 11 pick last year for a top 10 pick this year. If the Steelers keep playing like that. Jerome Baker, he's a good player. Yeah, Roby. Uh, definitely drop me an email, man. Another Jerome Baker rookie card. Sweet. Ryan Tannehill Optic. Jarvis. Jarvis was a great player. I said was. He was a great player on the Dolphins. Now he's a good player on the uh on the Browns. Jay Ajayi, another good player that's playing elsewhere. Dan the Man Marino. Can never go bad with Dan the Man. Alright, one more thing left in here. DFD. One number auto, one relic. Hope you like Big Dog. Man, I like it already, DFD. I mean, you, you sent me a bunch of Dolphins cards. I like it already. Oops. Well, that paper is not very strong. Alright. There we go. Let's rip through this last one. And we'll see it together because I have no clue what this is. It looks like our patch is a Mike Jaseki. And the auto. Let's go this way with it. Oh, it's 205. Let's turn it over. Slow roll this baby. It's an SP Authentic. Oh, who is that? 30? Ooh, 8 out of 25. Are you kidding me? A rookie signature of Jason Allen. Wow. Jason Allen, that's a name I haven't thought of in a while. He was uh, the first round pick for the Dolphins back in like 2012, 2013, I want to say. Uh, oh, wow, even further. Holy crap. Man, I'm getting old. This is 2006 SP Authentic. Jason, They drafted Jason Allen in 2006. You got to be kidding me. That is awesome, DFD. I really appreciate that, sir. 8 out of 25. That is sick, dude. Man, DFD. This is an awesome, awesome... Oh, crap. Look at that. Look at that patch. Holy crap. <laughs> 48 out of 50 playoff. Ricky Stallions, Mike Jacecki. That is a sick four-color patch. Holy crap, dude. DFD, I don't even know what to say, man. I wasn't expecting anything like this when you said you were going to send me some stuff. Wow. Man, I'm going to have to save up some Dodgers and Raiders for you, my friend. That is sick. The auto is sick and this patch is sick. Holy crap. Yeah, that is a chunky patch. You are right, Roby. That is a chunky patch. Man. DFD, I can't even thank you enough, man. For that, I'm leaving your uh I'm leaving your card up for a very long while. 
You're going to see DFD hanging out in the back of my channel for a while. All right, so uh, shall we get to ripping some packs? I've opened the rest of the mail. Got to definitely got to rip these uh, football packs from DFD. Definitely got to rip them. Let's see what we get. What year I said this one's 2018. <laughs> so this is 2018, and just in my mind, I was thinking. Who can I get out of 2018? Who was like the top rookie last year? That guy right there. <laughs> First pack. <laughs> oh, man. Here's a Russell Wilson. Uh, Jarek McKinnon. Jarek McKinnon from Georgia Southern University. There's a Johnny Hecker. Johnny Hecker. And a rated rookie. Saquon Barkley. <laughs> First pack. Love it. Love the Saquon. I don't PC Saquon, but... I mean, if you're going to pull a card out of 2018, it might as well be Saquon, right? Saquon or Baker. And I'm still not 100% sold on Baker. I think he's a good quarterback. All right, Sean Lee, Adam Shaheen, it's a Ken Anderson, that's a throwback card, and Deshaun Hand, Deshaun Hand, sweet. Yeah, Baker, Baker put up some numbers yesterday. I mean, the dude's a gamer, I give him that, he's a gamer. The Kyle Aletta on the back as a rookie. Stephon Gilmore, uh, Jermaine Curse, Charles Clay, is a former Dolphin right there. He was a good tight end for the Dolphin. And Kyle Laletta. Did I say his name right? Kyle Laletta. Yeah, I guess so. Scotty. Scotty, man, I just got a package from your boy, DFD. And it is awesome. What's up, Big D's? And all these people jump in the room. I'm at the show off my uh, Reindeer Studios mail day again. Right now, I'm opening the last package for my mail day. I got some stuff from a trade. I got uh, mail from Deafness from the 24-hour stream, which was awesome. And a package from DFD. So we got Bruce Irvin. Ryan Kerrigan. Cameron Jordan, and the rookie is Equi <laughs> Equinemius St. Brown. Equinemius St. Brown. I guess I'm saying his name right. Equin Equinemius. <laughs> That's awesome. Appreciate it, DFD, man. I appreciate the, uh, appreciate the packs and everything. Did get a Saquon rookie out of these packs. Mr. Saquon Barkley for the Giants. Which is probably the best card you can pull out of 2018. This is what uh, DFD sent me. Look at that. Look at that patch. That is sick. Mike Giusecki. And then I got an auto of Jason Allen. Had a 25. All from DFD. DFD, thank you, brother. I really appreciate it, my man. That was an awesome, awesome, awesome mail day. So I'm going to show this off one more time. I got something from Reindeer Studios. Yeah, man, that was that was, that was sick. I wasn't expecting that from DFD, but that's awesome. I'm going to have to definitely save up some stuff to send back to him. That is sweet. So if any of so Scotty Big D's, I don't know if y'all know Reindeer Studios, but he's an artist here on YouTube, but that also does sports card stuff. And I just got this from him today. And I really don't want to handle it that much. Check that out.
That's sweet, ain't it? <laughs> uh, Big D's, you talking about Reindeer Studios? Um, I don't know if he did stuff for Tops. Uh, I know he draws um, like sports stars, and he goes to conventions and has them sign it. Uh, but he also does like pop culture drawings like this, and he gives them away on his channel. And I happen to win this Hellboy one. Uh, you you recommend what he draws next based on what he drew previously, and uh, if he picks your character, um, he'll send you the charcoal drawing that he he drew, which is freaking awesome. Definitely go check him out, Big D's. It's Reindeer Studios. Um, he has like 300 and last I looked, it was like 315 around there. And the dude is just way too talented to have only 315 followers. Like I have 331 followers and I have absolutely zero talent. I have negative talent. <laughs> when it comes to drawing, I definitely have negative talent. I'm going to put this back in the envelope. I'm going to get that sucker framed up. And hung on my wall. Alright. So yeah, that was the mail day. Um, for y'all that jumped in late, I really appreciate y'all jumping in late. And, oh yeah, I got one more thing I want to show y'all. So it's been a while since I've done a break. And I plan to do another break here shortly. And it's going to be like a real cheap break. Like maybe three bucks to get in. Three, four bucks a team to get in. I may do it like two teams, like get two teams for like like six fifty or something like that, because I like doing those cheap breaks. Because you know I can't even afford to get in more expensive breaks, so I like when I do a break, I like to to make it cheap. But I kind of wrote this little web web page that can do a two team draft. Let's see if I can pull this up. There we go. So, like, it's got all these teams over here on the left. And I could just click this randomize teams button down here. And it, like, every two seconds it'll randomize a team into a box. And then it'll go through all the teams. Yeah, Big D's, when, uh, when I'm for sure going to do it, I'll definitely, I'll drop you an email, man. But yeah, this will go through and just randomize all the teams, which I, I had a, l a little bit of fun just, just programming this, trying to get it to work. Um, yeah, I don't know if y'all have ever seen AIAB do breaks, but he does something very similar to this. Actually, his is nicer because it like animates from the team stack all the way to the names. I'm not that advanced shit. <laughs> but it took me a while to put this one together. I thought it was pretty cool, so I just wanted to show it off. Yep, and every team's randomed. Um, yeah, so it makes it real easy. You don't have to go to random.org or anything like that to to get it done. Uh, Big D's, what what stuff were you talking about? Get your stuff back. What stuff are you uh, are you missing, or did you lose? Oh yeah, I also made these things draggable, so if there's any trades, you can like drag these around. So like, say Jen doesn't want the Mets. Or better yet, Big D's is in here. Big D's wants the Twins. He's going to give up the Brewers to Anastasia for the Twins. You can move them around like that. There you go, you got a trade. Reindeer Studios, what's up, buddy? We were just talking about you, my friend. Oh, man, I definitely, I showed off the Hellboy, man. That thing's awesome. I really appreciate it, man. That, that was awesome. I, great drawing. That thing's going to get framed up and uh, it's going to be hung up in my house. Your, your ears are burning. Yeah, it's because we were talking about you. <laughs> I actually talked about you a couple times. I had to show it off twice. Because uh, some people were in there early. I showed it off. And then some people jumped in late. And I had to show it off again. 
Are you uploading a video uh, today, Reindeer, or is that when you, um, don't you usually upload on Mondays, your, uh, your, your doodles? Oh, Wednesdays, okay. Wednesdays, awesome. Yeah, so everybody check out Reindeer Studios, definitely drop him a sub. Check out his doodles on Wednesday. Last week he drew, he, uh, drew Peggy Bundy. So we get to see who he drew, who he draws uh, this week. I'm interested to see who he picked out all those suggestions in his uh, comments. I was going to suggest somebody, but I think uh, Collector Holly beat me to it. And besides, I've already won, so I'm not eligible for like a month or so. So definitely head over there and drop some suggestions uh, on his video Wednesday. Give him something fun to draw. I'm interested to see like how far in a loop uh, it goes from the guy from Stranger Things to who was it? Carrie Elways to uh, Jigsaw <laughs> to uh, Bruce Campbell. And then Bruce Campbell went to I'm trying to remember uh, Macho Man Randy Savage and Macho Man went to Hulk Hogan. <laughs> and Hulk Hogan went to Gizmo and Gizmo went to Hellboy and of course Hellboy went to Peggy Bundy which is pretty awesome dude I, I haven't missed any of your uh, your Wednesday drawing videos I've watched all your I wouldn't say all of them I think I missed maybe one or two of the, the sports drawings you've done but, uh, yeah, I love the uh, pop culture sketches. That's, like, one of my favorite things. But the, the TTMs you do in the, um, when you go to the conventions and stuff and have people sign, I think that's great. Oh, yeah, you're welcome, man. You deserve it. So, um, I'm not going to hold y'all up too much longer. Um, I'm sure there's other streams and stuff you can hop on tonight, but got done with the, the mail day. Just going to show off these two cards again because they're awesome from DFD. Along with a stack of dolphins. Don't laugh at me because I'm a dolphins fan. Fins up for life. Also got a stack of Hall of Famers and a bunch of stuff from, uh, from Deafness. Where's that Honus? Honus Wagner at a 99. Honus Wagner looks like Woody Harrelson. Did you ever notice that? He looks like Woody Harrelson with a bigger nose. <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave it at that, folks. I appreciate y'all stopping by. What's up, Wilmer? And you're jumping in a little bit late, my man. I'm about to uh, hop off the stream, but definitely... Scroll back and watch uh, the mail day. It was pretty, pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, I appreciate everybody uh, giving me the support. Uh, check. I'm probably going to live stream tomorrow because I'm doing my uh, my September giveaway. So I'll probably live stream that giveaway tomorrow. I'll probably be a, a, a pretty short stream. I'm just going to pick the winner for the September giveaway stash. That's going to win all these cards. Oh, I forgot to put these in there. I'm on football cards. So, got some football cards going to throw in there to the giveaway stash. And remember, to get entered in this, all you got to do is uh, comment on any of my videos in September. And I'm actually going to do the drawing a little bit different. Uh, I'm going to pick out five videos and five comments uh, from those videos, and then I'm going to put them on a wheel and spin it. That way, you know, if you've commented on a lot of my videos, you probably have a better chance that way than me just picking one comment from one video um but yeah so i appreciate everybody stopping by on the card obvious y'all get out there and support each other remember we go together y'all stay positive uh if y'all can't control something that's not in your control uh try not to try not to stew on it or, or worry about it too much you know just worry about what you can control um thank you all for stopping by and i am out